In this video, we'll give an overview of the Defender for Storage features and the new pricing model that was recently announced for Defender for Storage. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to learn more about Azure. So one of the latest additions to the Defender for Cloud kind of family of services is Defender for DevOps. So Defender for DevOps, um, here in the Azure portal, if we go down just to that specific blade under Cloud Security, uh, it can be connected to both your GitHub repository uh, as well as your Azure DevOps repositories. And so if we just, so this is already configured, uh, if we select getting started here, we'll see that you know, we can add different connectors, uh, whether it be to GitHub or to ADO. We can configure the different pipelines. Uh, there are some things that maybe we do from uh, like the security tab in the, the GitHub repository. Um, but once you get this connected, like the, the, the features here, uh, if we go over to the documentation, is that it allows us to have just a, a single pane of glass for DevOps security. So um, into the inventory, pre-production app code, um, code scanning, secret, secret scanning, um, open source dependency vulnerabilities, all of those things can be uh, identified by connecting your repository, uh, again, whether it's GitHub or ADO, to Defender for DevOps. And so this helps us with the development lifecycle. Um, we can reme uh, remediate any secrets or credentials, connection strings that are maybe stored directly uh, in our code and understand where we're dependent on some open source things that might have other known vulnerabilities as well. So those are the kind of the main features and capabilities of Defender for DevOps. It's a pretty simple process to get started. You just connect in um, with, with one of the accounts, the Defender for DevOps here, either to your GitHub repo, repo um, or your ADO environment, um, add in the tools for your, uh, your pipelines and your builds. And so when that, once that's done, um, it'll go out and you know, kind of collect the information as Defender does and give you some uh, information back around the, the repos that you have connected. So here's a, a, a couple that have already been configured. We can see um, dependencies from open source software vulnerabilities, uh, any code scanning vulnerabilities that, that may exist, um, any exposed secrets if there's, you know, again, credentials or connection strings that are built in, hard-coded uh, in any of the, the code in that repository, it'll it'll show that up here. So here we can drill in maybe this uh, one demo repository. Uh, it'll show all of the recommendations for this uh, specific um, for this specific repo. So this is one of the GitHub repos. And so the secret scanning should have um, findings resolved. And so that's currently unhealthy. Um, Secret scanning enabled. Well, we, we know that something's unresolved, so that's been configured. So let's drill down into the secret scanning. And so here, um, you know, the repo that it's been connected to, here's some different um, security checks. So apparently it's come back, and within this code, uh, the, the repo that it was connected to, um, a key ID for AWS access was found, um, a, a SAS token or a storage account key, was found for an Azure storage account, um, maybe a, a secret for an Azure AD registered application. Um, all of these things were apparently in the code that are that was in the, the GitHub repository. And so uh, Defender for DevOps is now reporting this back that, hey, you know, we need to, to go and remediate these things. We have confidential information that's um, hard coded into our, into our environment. And so it does that um, again for, for secrets um, it can do this for your infrastructure as code as well. Um, any of your um, open source dependencies. So, you know, again, here's uh, another list of maybe open source software or, or modules that are being used um, from other environments. And so uh, here's dependency. We'll just select this one. And this uh, Django piston package it has some uh, ability to execute remote Python code. You know, if we, so that's a known vulnerability for this package and it's being used in this environment somehow. Um, so it gives us information as to what known vulnerabilities are out there with, with open source software we might be using. And then it's up to the, the developers to either uh, remediate that, maybe use a different package, 
you know, at least n be known that uh, that that, uh, that that vulnerability exists. So Defender for DevOps is pretty simple. Just connect it into your repository, let it do the code scanning, um, take the actions that it comes back with. Uh, there is a built-in workbook. If we go over to workbooks that kind of shows us some um, some charting and, and things over time. Uh, there's a DevOps security workbook that's built in. And so uh, we can you know kind of see this, have a nice one-page report of all the different repositories of, uh, of how this is built in. We can look at specific secret types across the environment if we've got in multiple connections. So here's all the storage account keys, API keys, et cetera, that, uh, that this code scanning found. The open source, uh, open source software vulnerabilities by severity and by package type and the repo that it was in um, and our overall like security posture from a, a Defender for DevOps perspective. So the built-in workbook, built-in reporting, um, some pretty simple to connect in your GitHub repository, your ADO repository, uh, and, and let Defender for DevOps do some code scanning. If you learned something new today, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel to learn more. I stream every Friday afternoon on Twitch if you'd like to come by and ask questions. Uh, thanks for watching.